Right there we got three frozen tilapia and a bunch of thawed split pig's feet. Over here I've got lichen shepherd honey badger, toki, and uh, ukla. We've got our rescue pup Ryuk. And in the back there we got Mr. Kurgan. They're uh, merely in the kennel for uh, filming purposes. All the dogs live in the house. This is going to be uh, a pack feeding. This is a, what a standard meal looks like. If you want to see what a standard meal looks like, I have uh, a whole bunch of videos in my raw food playlist, which will be linked in the video description. That'll show you that. Uh, I, I use these pack feedings to develop uh, pack cohesion and to uh, teach the dogs to be more social. It puts them in a uh, high stress situation with a high value uh, food item and uh, teaches them how to uh, work it out. I always recommend when you do this uh, you have uh, more pieces of food than there are dogs so you don't have a dog trying to hoard them all. And then I also recommend that you spread it around the area. You know I see people trying to do this and they put all the food in one pile. It's a big mistake and you know you're going to cause a fight. It's it's always better to spread it out. That's what we're going to do right now. Bones is safe for your dogs as uh, long as it's raw. Uh, it's cooked bones that are dangerous. Uh, cooking uh, changes the consistency of the bone, makes it brittle and indigestible. Let's let these guys out. You see by spreading it around, they can all kind of run around and see what's there. You know, they're not trying to lay on a pile. Kurgan immediately takes his to eat it up on the log away from everybody. For those who will ask where are the other dogs, well, these are the dogs I decided to use to film today. They're inside. They each got uh, uh, split pig's foot themselves. <laughs> you see what Ryuk did there? Snatch Kurgan's up. Again, because Reek's a pup, Kurgan will tolerate stuff like that. It's uh, as the dogs get older that you'll see the adults start to get more firm with them. So it was fun to watch uh, Kurgan use the log to chew his food. So yeah, it was. <laughs> No, again, he tolerates that because Reeves a pup. No, he just snatched Honey Badger's hand. He's got his other two. <laughs> you know, that's the thing, though. You know, you, by putting multiple ones around here, you know, they can sit and play musical pieces, and there's not really going to be a conflict because there's multiple pieces around the yard if somebody snatches somebody's piece up. It's Toki claiming that fish along with that uh, pig's foot there. Now Kurgan has three piled up on his log. Again, it's funny how he likes to use the log to his advantage. Again, because there's multiple pieces, they tolerate that from the pups. Even though Ryuk doesn't look like a pup, you know, he's only seven months old. Aren't you, little boy? You can see all my dogs are very tolerant of me petting them while they're, while they're eating. Got the 
Tokemeister. Boy. Again, it's always good to handle your dogs when they're eating it. Teaches them not to be food aggressive. You see, uh, Ookla is definitely a fish dog. You got all those uh, thawed pig's feet around, and he'd rather chew on a frozen tilapia. So, Badge, Badge, telling me thanks for the food. While she snatches up the piece at my feet. See, Badge has got a pile of four of them there. And again, this is, teaches the dogs to be social in situations where there's a high value food item around. You know, both uh, Ryuk and uh, uh, Ukla have never had uh, pig's feet or pork before. I, I typically don't feed pork, only because you have to freeze pork for uh, three weeks before you feed it first due to trichinosis. And uh, I usually don't like to tie up that much freezer space. But sometimes the uh, local grocery store will have pig's feet that they you know, keep frozen for several months you know, before they split them and then they sell them frozen. And in that case, I, I, I just buy them and feed them to the ducks. and then the rolling log. Boy. Kurgan. Kurgan was uh, six and a half years old and uh, Ryuk seven months. Toki here now eating fish before he's eating the the pig's foot. You can see my dogs really love fish. And Badge is just making a pile. I think she's going to wait until all the all the food is gone and then try to defend her pile. <laughs> How many you got there, Badge? You got five. It'll be fun to see what happens when some of these are gone. Toki growling that badge back there. He must have grabbed himself another fish.
badge. Why did you go get all kinds of leaves all over him? Yuck. 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 It looks so gross now, badge. So for you. Reeves coming in to try to get it when I pet her. <laughs> Cause he's smart, ain't ya? Boy, he's telling me thank you. You're welcome. Snatching up some more of her stuff. Gonna make your own pile. the tongs and the bull down over there. Why? Because he's Ryu, that's what he does. <laughs> eating in a big group. <coughs> Little bitching here and there, but all getting along. And again, that barking you saw Toki do, that's not aggression, that's just all canine communication. That's how they talk, you know? He's just saying, hey, get out of my space while you're eating. Dogs like fish a lot. They get it pretty often. What you gonna do with that one? I think he's looking for a place to hide it. Yep. See him over there? He's gonna try to hide it. Stashes food all around the yard. <laughs> if they could, they'd have like holes dug all over the place. Just pushing leaves up on top of it now, you see that? Yeah, no one's gonna find that Ryuk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wanted all along. That's hilarious. <laughs> I 
you can see by putting them in these situations, you know, with a high value item, you know, and we have more of them than they need, you know, it, it teaches them to be social and more relaxed in this setting. So, homie, coming over to say thank you. You're welcome. No oh, kisses. I don't want pork or fish kisses. <laughs> That's all canine communication. That's not aggression. It's Ryuk saying, hey, this is my corner where all my stuff is. You know, it's funny. He just snatched that from him, but then he wants to go sit right next to him and eat it. And you can see, ultimately, Ryuk didn't really care because there's, there's a ton of food around. And that's again why I put out more pieces than there are dogs and I spread it around the yard. You know, ultimately we want these guys to learn to to get along. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to watch them talk. Maybe you stuck to you. So that's what he's grumbling about. Got the white loop again. bitching saying, come on, Dad, I want to eat. Quit rubbing my eyes and my mouth. But again, you want to desensitize them to human touch when they're eating. You know, we've got two very high-value food items here that he really likes. You know, and I'm putting my head in that area. I'm rubbing his muzzle. I'm rubbing his eyes. You know, I'm desensitizing him to human touch. I'm teaching him not to be pr protective of the food, you know, when people are around. And, and that's what you want. You know, I don't want him to view me as someone that's coming in and challenging him for the food that I've already provided for him. You know, and when your dogs are young, you want other members of the family to do stuff like this too. You know, just not the dominant person in the household. with all the dogs and we've done it with them since they were puppies. <laughs> she's, coming, she's coming in. He's coming in when I'm coming over to pet her to steal some of her food. They're smart. They know when I start petting the other dog that they kind of relax. You'll see, uh, <coughs> that's those two bitching at each other. Okay, now over here, there's still two pieces over there. What's up, buddy?
Koki going to find the piece that uh, Reed buried in the corner? No, he found another piece. Kerrigan with his pet me face. Yes, yes. I'm trying to film, Kurgan. <laughs> Interesting to see which dogs chose what to eat. Again, I think there were 12, uh, half a, well, six big pig's feet uh, split, which makes 12. And then I threw out uh, three tilapia. The pig's feet were thawed and the tilapia was fro frozen. But uh, my dogs really love fish. And so you'll, even though the uh, pig's feet are kind of a delicacy, one that the puppies haven't had before. Uh, you can see some of the dogs chose the fish. Just re grumbling at uh, Mr. Kurgan. Kurgan, you make a better door than window. He wants that pig's foot by his in there. Kurgan singed a little hair on his back there. Crawled up. Uh, I had my uh, uh, Jeep in the garage. Uh, I pulled it in there because we were going to do some work on it. And he crawled up underneath it. I was laying underneath it and he singed his back on the muffler. <laughs> It did. It did go through his fur. It just hit the top coat right there a little bit, and uh, made that look a little kind of crinkly. Nice. Oh, he smelled horrible for a couple of days, didn't you? Heck, you got a burr on your leg there. Let me get rid of that. I hate those things. She's not going to give it up, Kurgan. He's hoping I distract one of the dogs long enough that he can steal something. See, that's what he—that's what—that's what he's doing. All right, I'll grab one of those for you. She's not going to eat all three. Thank you, Badge. And again, people ask, can I take stuff for my dogs? Again, yeah, you saw I took it. I, of course, I use the tongs because I'm filming with my phone and I don't want to get raw pig stuff all over my hands when I'm passing my phone around. Kurgan's back to his log. Again, you can see why he was, he was on me. He wanted to me to either grab something from one of the other dogs or distract him. <laughs> Is anybody going to find uh, Reeves pig's foot stuck in the corner over there? Buried under leaves? Again, there'll be all kinds of people who are going to say, aren't you worried about those bones and that fish? And uh, no, I'm not. Mammals of all shapes and sizes around the world eat raw fish bones with absolutely no issues. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. And that, again, that's because cooking 
changes the consistency of the bone, makes it brittle and hard and indigestible to dogs. If you've ever uh, filleted and cleaned a fish before, you, you know that uh, raw fish bones are very soft and pliant. And again, you see, he chews through them like nothing. And again, mammals around the world eat fish bones with no issues. That's a good boy. You see, he's just a very, very sweet, affectionate pet. Takes a break from his meal to get some love and some pets. <laughs> Got some leaves stuck to you there. Ookla coming in for the fish. Ookla loves fish. <laughs> so does Ryuk. Mm -hmm. Gonna go bury that now somewhere and make it all gross. <laughs> His little trot. Where are you going? Oh, don't put it in the water. Ah, oh, that's another thing he'll do is he'll try to hide food. Oh, look, he's already got a pig's foot in there too. Didn't even notice it. He'll hide food in the water bowl. Really? You know, now I gotta empty that and clean it out. He's, he's trying to cover it with water using his nose. Lukla's gonna steal it. <laughs> Yum. It's not really a water bowl anymore, it's more of a broth. We gotta bunch of leaves in there that were probably stuck to that pig's foot when you threw it in there. I think that's one of the ones that was over in Badge's pile. <laughs> and again, you've got uh, a six-month-old Lycan Shepherd and uh, a seven-month-old high-content wolf dog here uh, with high-value food items, you know, uh, eating very peaceably together. You know, they're, 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 uh, this, and both of them are, are, uh, intact. They're not neutered. <laughs> that right there is a little canine communication. You see what they're doing is they're switching pieces up. <laughs> but again, this is how dogs talk. That's not aggression. You know, you saw them bitching a little bit about it, but Ryuk ultimately let him have that piece. They just had to work out the terms. <laughs> oh, stop it. And again... If I see one get a little touchy there, I'll push the I'll push it. You see me, I'm messing with her now. your picture on the phone now. I have the phone so she can see her image on it. <laughs> what is that on there?
Well, if you didn't put it in the leaves, you wouldn't get all those leaves stuck to your mouth. battery is about to run out since I got about 12% left that means I won't be able to get this video up till tonight I do all my editing on my phone usually when I film in my backyard like this I film with my phone or I'm filming in the house and then on my hikes I use my GoPro I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this pack feeding. <laughs> you got to watch the uh, big bad wolves eat uh, the feet of the three little pigs. <laughs> A couple of brothers complaining over who gets the choicest uh, pig's foot. But again, you can see they're, they're all one big happy family. out of them both from above. Gukla looks huge because he's standing and Ryuk's laying, but they're they're both very large pups. Ryuk's got about three weeks on Ukla, which is a lot at this age, so I mean uh, in another three weeks Ukla will be uh, much bigger than he is. They both should be good sized dogs. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and share. That notification bell down below you will get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out uh, check out our merch store it's uh, a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return my especially beautiful wife couldn't be with us today she's at work bye from mr. Kurgan Toki mr. Kurgan's singe spot the badge Ukla and Mr. Ryuk. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. <laughs>